Hey guys, I uh, wanted to go live and then I'll share it in all the places. Um, take notes so I hopefully won't squirrel. Sorry. Um, but tip Tuesday, time to light a fire. So I want to ask a couple questions when you think about your business right now because I feel like we're all in a weird limbo from December and we're not in December anymore. Um, did you know that your essentials that do the first things first checklist, you still have access to see what that is in your workstation, even if you're not an essential anymore? Did you know that in the Google Drive that's pinned at the top of this team page, that they're in the different folders, there's one that's named new consultants start here. Um, I tell you this because I feel like a lot of us need to reevaluate, look at our systems, see what worked, what, see what didn't work, and we didn't do that yet. Um, personally, I can tell you that I've asked over 70 people um, the last month and this month combined to party, and I've gotten all no's, still have zero parties. Um, for this month, I've, I've booked them out for a couple other months, but that doesn't help me for this month. So I challenge you to start thinking from the beginning. When you first started as a consultant, whether you're brand new, whether you're in for a year, six months, two months, almost at two years for me, um, I want you to think about the basics. And this is what I had to do personally. I did my Frank list. Friends, relatives, associates, or acquaintance, relatives, or sorry, and... I don't remember what N stands for. Neighbors and then kids or nieces and nephews. That counts as kids. Um, offer a mystery house party in compliance by mailing it to your, uh, by email it to your customers. Uh, follow ups. Guide to growth again. You learn something every single time. I don't care if you've seen it seven times. I've seen it four and I pick up different things each time depending on where I am in my business at that moment. Rediscovering your why and your fire. And I want you to keep, when you are writing down your why, I want you to write it down because I want you to say, why did I join? To make my car payment. Why is that important? Because it takes less stress off us. Why is that important? Because it helps our marriage. Why is that important? Because I want to keep my marriage. Why is that important? Like, go why. Go deeper than you think you can go until you get to like, that's why this is important to me. Because if it's not important to you, it's not going to happen. Um, so that's just an example. Um, I challenge you to share in your uh, VIP group live. Don't make a post. And it should be more than 10 seconds, honestly. Um, but share in your VIP group and thank them for being a part of your sensi journey. And what your why is and why it's important to you. Because that might be something that they can relate to and they may be like, hey, maybe I need this too. And you can say in your why, hey, if this is something that you feel I connect with on, like that I feel that you feel is a connection, reach out to me, join my team. I'm happy to help you. You don't know who needs this. Bless others. It's not about you. Then I challenge you to go live in your director's page, whether it be me, Carly, or M. And I want you to go live about what you are working on today. Period. The reason I have this challenge is was um, last night I was on our SSD's team page um, meeting. And someone said they're reaching out to the people, uh, they're reaching out to their customers from the discontinued list. But they're not reaching out for just the club aspect of, hey, this bar is going away. Don't forget to add it to club. They're reaching out to like pods, car bars, oils, fragrance flowers, certain ones that people have ordered. We have a list. It's in our workstation and saying, hey, this is going away. We don't know if it's returning because we don't. None of us do. But if you loved it so much when you purchased it in May, December, whenever they purchased it. You might want to stock up on that item um, and this also get 10% off when you stock up on that item. Being a couponer, okay, 10% off, yep. 
stocking up while it's on sale? Yup. Like, that would trigger all the right things for me personally, so why would it not trigger for something for my customers since my customers know who I am as a couponer? Um, after you share in your director's page, feel free to share hair and, butterf and butterfly kisses. If I'm not your director, if I'm your star director, feel free to share hair just by saving the video and posting the same thing. It's okay if it's okay if it says your team's name and then you go into your spiel. It's okay to be like, just share it here. It's okay. I promise. Promise. Um, and if you, um, I just feel like when you share how you're working, you're sharing what you're doing that might be income producing. It should be income producing, especially this early in the month. Um, and why you're doing it. Someone could relate to that and say, you know what? I should be doing happy mail too. I should be putting out scent of the month because my customers, this, this month is fire. It's freaking good. It's berries and I'm a summer spring girl. So like my customers know I'm a fruity citrus girl. So I'm going to put that in there and get it out as soon as possible to them. But you don't know how you working and you sharing how you're working can affect someone else and be like, you know what? I can do that. That doesn't take me much time. I can do that too right now. Or I can do it and make a plan to do it. Schedule that time. Also, as you know, I always do coffee and talking on Thursdays. That will continue. But I challenge you because of what someone had said to me earlier. Make your own little like group if you want in the respect of not group. Let me try this again. Make your own little twist. So if you're like, hey, let's do a power hour. Do it and post it. Post it in here. Post it in your team page. Post it in my my sponsor's team page. I don't care where you post it. Like, it could be with other people from other direct sales company. Just do a power hour. Sit. We're all sitting and holding each other accountable. It's called body doubling for ADHD people like me. Um, but if you feel something that's passionate about that, do it. It's not, what is it going to do? No one shows up. Tell you what, my first team meeting, one person showed up. She's still on my team. It's okay. It's okay to think outside the box and it's okay to do things with other people outside the box. Um, coffee and talkie was something that I was super excited about because I wanted to get to know other people, their goals, and make those authentic, sensey friendships outside of being a team leader. So the way I look at it is um, look at your ideas, write them all down. Uh, like, I'm not even kidding you guys. This is my work schedule right now because I just keep thinking of things I need to get done so that I can have some sense of peace getting everything done. But make sure that you're kicking off 2022 with a bang and not just letting it slide by that you're going to wish that you had done something differently. Um, also, last day today is to um, for world tour in person. Most of us that are up north are going to head to Boston. Virtual's last day is the 31st of January to register. It's $53 to register. It's a four hour drive to Boston. Take the time and come hang out with me. Um, I promise one of the things I can tell you is I will be masked. I have maybe some special masks I might be making for World Tour. So if you're going in person, let me know. Um, but I also see the stats and like I said, it closes at midnight tonight. Our, no, it's not our time. Their time, so 3 a.m. our time tomorrow. Take the investment that you're going to learn from world tour, whether it's in person or, um, or virtual to not apply just to Sensi, but to your everyday life, like leadership and learning about who you are as a person are not Sensi related. It's, it's how you affect everybody around you, your team, your, yourself, obviously, your family, um, your community. So make sure that you take the opportunity that you can at the rate that, at the price point that is being offered. It's not a bad thing, I promise. Um, other than that, I hope everyone has a fabulous day. Happy Tuesday. And I will talk with you soon.